in Sahih Muslim. Verb number three, Hadith number two seven four six. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that fasting on the day of Ashura, the tenth of Muharram, I will pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that may He forgive the sins of the previous year. That means if a person fasts on the tenth of Muharram, on the day of Ashura, all your sins of the previous year will be washed away. But natural, these sins are referring to the minor sins, not counting the major sins. That means the most important fast after the further fast of Ramadan is the fasting of Ashura. But scholars differ, fuqahs. Most of the fuqahs say that the most important fast is the fasting on the day of Arafah, because on the day of Arafah, besides the sins of the previous year being washed away, even the sins of the future one year is washed away. That means if you fast on the day of Arafah, two years of sins are washed away. The previous year and the following, that is the next year. If you fast on the day of Ashura, only one year that the previous year's sins are washed away. Therefore, Fuqah has deferred. Most of them say the most important fast is Arafah. Few say the most important fast is fasting on the day of Ashura. But unanimously all agree that these two fasts, fasting on the day of Arafah and fasting on the day of Ashura, are the most two important fast after the further fast of Ramadan. It is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 5, hadith number 3943, that Ibn Abbas, radiallahu May Allah be pleased with him. He narrates that when the Prophet reached Medina, he found that the Jews were fasting on the 10th of Muharram. And he asked them that why do you fast during this day? They said, this day Allah gave victory to Moses and the people of Bani Israel over Pharaoh. So the Prophet replied that we Muslims are more closer to Musa salam than the Jews. And he ordered the Muslims to fast on Ashura, the 10th of Muharram. It's further mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 3, hadith number 2006, that Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, he narrates that he never found the Prophet wanting to fast on any day more than the day of Ashura and this month that is the month of Ramadan it is further mentioned in Sunan Abu Daud volume number 3 hadith number 2445 that the prophet peace be upon him the people approached him and they told him that the Jews and the Christians they fast on the 10th of Muharram, on the day of Ashura. So the Prophet said, next year we will also fast on the 9th of Muharram. It's mentioned in Musnad Ahmad, volume number 2, hadith number 2154, that the Prophet said, do the opposite of what the Jews and the Christians do. Besides fasting on the 10th of Muharram, also fast on the 9th or the 11th of Muharram. Because of this, when you read the Shara of Sai Bukhari, Hafiz Ibn Hajar Askalani, he says that fasting of Ashura is of three levels. The lowest is fasting on the 10th of Muharram, the day of Ashura. The second is fasting on the 9th and the 10th of Muharram and the highest is fasting on 9th, 10th and 11th of Muharram. That means we Muslims, we learn from all the hadith that Muharram is the month of Allah. It's one of the four sacred months. In these sacred months we should do good deeds, abstain from doing bad deeds and the best is that we fast on all three days the 9th, the 10th and the 11th of Muharram. That is the best.